Yeah, anybody who knows anything about video games right now knows how hard it is to get a hand, your hands on a PlayStation 5 unless you're willing to pay a scalper $1,000. Oh, yeah. You normally run about 500 bucks. But one of the things that just came out on the gaming news is there is a new model of the PlayStation 5 out that uses lighter components, worse components. And this new one, the heat sink, is tiny. Mm. So the, these new models might be burning up. So people are going to be looking for the older models. If you can get your hand on an older model, it's going to be worth money. Hey everyone, it's Lindy. Welcome back to my channel. So I just had to grab my camera real quick and fill you guys in because my husband just found a video game worth more than $200. And guess where he found it? Inside our house. <laughs> so I wanted to pull out my camera and just do a really quick impromptu video about it because that's a lot of money for a video game. And I know that a lot of my viewers that might do thrift store sourcing or Facebook marketplace sourcing, if you happen to stumble upon this game, you might not know that it's worth as much as it is. I mean, I know that I don't know anything about video games. That's why I've got my husband here. So of course I'm gonna tell you guys what the video game is and then I wanna go find out for my husband exactly how he found out that this video game was worth as much as it is and why I mean really why is it worth so much money because I don't I don't understand it and if it doesn't get any better than this it is also sealed it is brand new sealed so it is Nintendo DS Dragon Quest 4 chapters of the chosen so my husband plays a lot of video games and he has this habit of overbuying video games, but in this particular instance, it actually benefited us because he has two copies of these and so he says that I can sell this one. So when he told me that this video game was worth 150, 200 bucks, I didn't believe him. So what did I do? I looked it up on eBay myself. So now when I first looked the game up, the price comps were around, like you could see here, uh, there was just the game only it has three bids up to $41.99 plus shipping. Uh, there's a used one that's $100 plus free shipping. There's a bundle. There's just the cartridge for $70. Um, a lot of these are on auction. And uh, if you go over to the filter, because this one is brand new, I don't want to compare the price comps to uh, used when this is brand new and sealed. So the price comps for the brand new are more like 185, 185, 125, and it has a bid on it. $125 plus shipping with a bid, uh, 197. There's, uh, let's see, 249. But of course, we know that active comps are not the holy grail. We have to see the sold comps. So let's go look at what they are actually selling for. So there's 28 results that are brand new. So people are selling the cases even for, for $10 a piece. So let's see, brand new and sealed, 175 plus shipping, 150. Uh, let's see, uh, that one is just the manual only. Here's one for 199 plus shipping, $200 plus shipping, 199.95 plus $20 shipping from Taiwan. This one has got bid up to $350. It got bid up to $350. Why? It's just this oh, 35 bids, $300 with free shipping, $199 plus shipping, $199, $215. You guys see, this is a $200 game easy. And so I know that my husband knows a lot about video games, but there's no way that he knew that this one was valued at $200 just off the top of his head. I wanna know how he knew that. So let's go ask him because however he found that out, you can find out the same way. Cause you don't know what games are worth unless you're told. So I wanna know how he knew. So let's go ask him. He's not down here. Where is he? Where is my husband? Where are you? Hello? What? Marco! Marco! Come here, I want to talk to you about this video game. Come here. <laughs> Come in here where the lighting is better and the kitchen is not dirty. Talk to me about this game. So if you were going to tell people how to find out what games are worth significantly more, where would you tell them to go? Like how did how did you know? So uh, so if someone wants to know what games have kind of like jumped up in value, where would they go to look? Um, This is kind of just one of those things you just 
have to know the value of certain things and know what are limited runs. Um, like, for example, this game, it was a limited run here in America. And I had a copy of it, but during the process of moving, I thought I had misplaced it somewhere. So I picked up another copy and I just never opened it. Oh, uh, so that's why you had to. I, I got a bad habit of buying games and never opening them, saying I'm going to play them later. As any gamer knows, my backlog is huge. <laughs> So, I'll play them all eventually, sure. Um, But this has just happened to be one of those things that I bought an extra copy of it. And just perusing various forums, numerous people said, why are these games outrageously priced? And then I looked, I was like, I have an extra one that's in the box, in plastic wrap. That means this thing is about as new as new can get. Yeah, I looked, there were some some bids up to $350 on it. Mm -hmm. So this particular series I've been a fan of since I was a kid. So I, this is just kind of one of those things I followed. But there are, there are just certain games that have gone up in value if you can find them. Like uh, for this one, Dragon Quest VI here in America, if you can get your hands on a copy of that in box, that's going to be worth something. Dragon Quest VI? Yeah, this is number four. Uh-huh. Um, they, they, Nintendo put a re-release. on. They, they remastered these and remodeled them and re-released them on the 3DS. So they did four, five, and six, um, and seven and eight as well, but four, five, and six. If you can get your hands on any one of those three, you're gonna make some money at it. Um, I'm just trying to think of any other games that are really good. Pretty much anything, almost almost anything Nintendo touches. Nintendo? Nintendo Nintendo games hardly ever so go, would down, you, so go would, down in value. They very rarely go down in so value. So if someone's at a yard sale and someone has a bunch of Nintendo games, you're saying scan them all? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Especially if they, if they have boxes. That That's the thing. Because when we were kids, you didn't ever think to keep the boxes. Yeah. You, you, you kept the cartridge and threw away the box. Now people keep the boxes. Well, how old is that game? Well, I mean, obviously it's DS, so... Yeah, the original game came out on the Nintendo, but then they remastered it for the Nintendo DS. Oh. And that's where the re-release came from. Yeah, there, there are just certain things. Certain, certain books and certain games just... Or make some money and just gotta kind of know just peruse various forums but again that that's one of the things if, if games are your thing see this is what i'm interested in so this is what i follow you know lindy does health and beauty aids and, and general merchandise so she knows what certain things are her father does older antique stuff he knows what that stuff is worth so i yeah i, I knew i had an extra one of these lying around so i checked the value of it and i went <laughs> <laughs> go ahead sell it because i've got like i said i've got Woo! two i've got two copies of this thing so there's awesome. no reason not to sell it. Yeah, make some money. Yeah, I'll just make go towards money. my PlayStation 5. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah, ulterior motive. Yeah. But it was a Reddit forum, right? Uh, yeah, it was. I just, just, I just happened to be perusing it. And it, like I said, I've known that that thing has been valuable for a while. Like 4, 5, and 6 are the valuable games in that series. What was the name of the Reddit forum? What was uh, the was subreddit? Dragon Quest. It was... Dragon it, it's, Quest it's subreddit. It's kind of a niche subreddit. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, so it, it wasn't like a video game for it. It was for a particular video yeah, game. Yeah, that, that, that is a series that is not super popular here in America. It's ridiculously popular in Japan. And I've just followed it ever since I was a kid. Cool. That's hence why I picked one up. Thank you for your input, honey. Thank you for finding that awesome game. So I can go buy something pretty for myself. No, that's going on the PlayStation 5. <laughs> yeah, anybody who knows anything about video games right now knows how hard it is to get a hand, your hands on a PlayStation 5 unless you're willing to pay a scalper $1,000. Oh, Cause yeah. You normally run about 500 bucks. But one of the things that just came out on the gaming news is there is a new model of the PlayStation 5 out that uses lighter components, worse components. So if you can find a PlayStation 5 that's an older model, they're going to be more valuable in the future. Good to know. Guarantee it. Good because, to know. Because what happened is, is they had a heat sink that was what, six, seven, eight inches long to disperse the heat of the internal system. And this new one, the heat sink is tiny. Mm. So the, these new models might be burning up. So if people are going to be looking for the older models. If you can get your hand on an older model, it's going to be worth money. Good to know. Thank you for your assistance again.
Have fun. Yay. So now here is my question for you guys because I do not sell video games very often. So here's a couple of questions I have for you. Please let me know down in the comments what you think. Number one, should I do buy it now or auction? So we saw that there was one that got bidded all the way up to $350, but then there was also others that were only bidded up to 150. So what do you think? Should I do an auction or just uh, do like a flat, buy it now price and maybe do best offer. Second question I have for you, should I sell it now or should I sell it closer to Christmas? Do you think the price might go up the closer we get to Christmas? Do you think Christmas matters when it comes to this kind of thing? Let me know. Should I do auction or buy it now? And should I sell it now or should I wait until Christmas? I'm torn, I don't know what to do. This is not my expertise. So I'm leaning on you guys to help guide me through this so that I can maximize profits on my husband's wonderful knowledge of video games. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you appreciate that I let you guys know about this game in particular and gave you some of my husband's insight, make sure to hit the thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and ring the notification bell. That way you're notified whenever I post a new video. Don't forget to check the video description. I always put a lot of useful information in there and don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know how you think I should go about selling this game to maximize the profits. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you with my next video. Bye-bye.